Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and uh, guys today I'm going to show you how to make an easy preloader. Before I actually start uh, explaining and show you how it was done, let me show you a published preview by hitting control enter. Guys I'm using Flash CS55 Pro Professional. Here goes control enter. Right to and uh, I hit to <coughs> In fact, I need, need to hit Control Enter once again, uh, once again to simulate the download, guys. As you can actually see, uh, we have a preloader that continuously runs from left to the right, and we have the percentage going up, uh, which clearly gives you an indication as to when 100% uh, will be complete. And once 100% uh, is actually complete, is when you are able to hear the sound. Now, this sound could have been, uh, you know, so this music or this sound, this audio could have been a picture as well. Okay, so it's absolutely okay to attach the preloader to a to an audio or or, or, uh, or an image or a set of images or just a flash project. It could have been attached to anything. But just for this example, guys, I've confined myself to a piece of music. All right. So we'll just wait for uh, the percentage to go uh, up to 100% is when you'll actually hear the uh, piece of royalty free uh, music. All right, guys, I'm going to pause the video now. I'm going to resume the video when we are very close to 100%. All right, I have resumed the, the video because we are very close to 100% and we should soon be hearing the audio. absolutely all right so guys uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna redo the project in a new file and hence make you understand how this was actually done before that guys uh, let me show you our website now the name of the website is preloaders.net and this website allows you to generate free uh, animated GIF files or PNG files all right uh, you can see out here uh, on the left hand side we have uh, categories for my example I had actually chosen the horizontal bars category then I had uh, clicked on this drop down and then I had selected uh, you know this option okay uh, you can choose your own background color the foreground color you can decide on the animation speed you can decide on the preloader size in terms of uh, pixels right uh, there are certain advanced options also that uh, you could have used all right or you can best leave them alone and then you can click on this generate preloader button to generate the animated gif or the png file all right uh, that's exactly what i had done i actually downloaded uh, this animated gif file that I, that i'd actually brought over in my flash project and this is the music that i'd actually used uh, in the you know the flash file that you had just seen so guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, include this animated GIF file and this piece of music and show you how this was actually done cool so let me say a file in a new <coughs> excuse me let me uh, set the width to be 550 and the height to be uh, let's say 400 uh, let's say okay all right let me save the file up first let me call it preloader right okay guys uh, the first thing that I'll do is I'll rename layer 1 and uh, let me call it preloader okay next I'll say file import import to the library it's important that you don't import it to the state guys please import it to the library and this is the file this is the animated gif file let me select it let me hit open and guys uh, as you can see it has actually it's actually inside the library now okay uh, you may be a little amazed as to what these uh, you know several bitmap images are and you will soon understand uh, what exactly where do, do these bitmap images actually come from okay and uh, here at the bottom of the stack we have a symbol let me drag the symbol out okay place it uh, roughly in the center of the stage now guys if I were to double click on the preloader you can actually see on the timeline I'm inside the movie clip now it was a movie clip if you remember uh, as I scrub the uh, the timeline see what happens uh, on the stage let me show it to you once again right 
as I'm scrubbing the timeline, see the changes that are happening on the stage. Cool. Let me go back one level onto the stage. Okay. And uh, next, guys, uh, what I'll do is I'll insert one more layer and I'll call this layer AS3 because this is where I'll be uh, keeping my action script, which will be firing out the preloader. Okay. And yet another layer. Now, this layer will be for the music. Okay. And on the music layer, guys, I cannot keep the music layer on the first frame. It has to be on the second frame because the first frame actually belongs to the preloader. All right. So on the second frame, guys, on the music uh, layer, I'm going to press F7. Okay. And then let me import the music. So file, import, import the library. All right. Uh, this is the mu royalty free music. And it's getting imported. It's in the library now. Let me pull it out from the library and put it up on the stage. Okay. Uh, it's on the stage now. On the second frame of the music layer. Let me hit the text tool, guys, and then just uh, write some text now. Playing music. All right. Let me expand this area. Right. Let me make sure this message is in the center of the stage. Okay, making sure the align to stage checkbox is on. Right. Now I'm back to the preloader's uh, frame, guys. And out here, I also need to have a text message, making sure that it's set to classic and static. Right. And all it says is uh, loading. Right. Let me, in fact, uh, let me put it this way. Two dots. Right. Uh, right. In fact, let's do, uh, this is much better, right? Okay, so all it says is uh, loading and uh, I need yet another text field, guys, uh, somewhere out here. Okay, and uh, guys, the alignment has been set to center and the font family is Nayala. Okay, I'll, I'll make sure that it's set to dynamic, classic, but dynamic, so that I can give it an instance name. Let me give it an instance name of my text okay so the font family is Nayala the font size is 62 the color is uh, pound sign triple three triple three anti alias is set for readability okay and aligned to center is on it's not selectable guys okay it's not selectable cool and uh, as I uh, said I have given it an instance name of my text this is the way I'll be referencing it inside the actions panel okay so guys uh, since the stage uh, or the preloader layer is all set up let me go inside the as3 layer and the first frame go inside the actions panel and start coding cool all right so the first thing that i need to do is make sure that the playhead doesn't rush to the second frame, and i need to use the stop method like this okay then I need to add an event listener to the loader info property. Now the loader info property is responsible for fetching the bytes loaded and the bytes total of your project. So loader info property dot add event listener and I'll scroll down and choose the last uh, option which says progress event dot progress. Okay. So as long as the, uh, you know, the progress is happening or the project is loading I would want a function called loading to fire right let me define the function loading okay so the event is actually a progress event right and then let me define the function progress and inside the function let me first create or declare a variable percent okay uh, the type is a number and let me make it equal to event dot bytes loaded divided by 
event dot bytes beg your pardon total into a hundred now obviously this will give me the percentage uh, loaded obviously because uh, even the bytes loaded divided by the bytes total into 100 simple mathematical formula for fetching you know getting the percentage right and as i said the loader info property is responsible for fetching event uh, dot bytes loaded and uh, event dot bytes total right next guys i'm gonna say my text that is the text uh, instance name of the text field that we had used on the stage dot text through the text property let me make it equal to uh, math dot round now this rounds off a number go, uh, guys of what of percent okay and since uh, my text is a text field which will accept only a string uh, I need to add a percentage sign basically when you add a number to uh, a string the whole thing then becomes a string that's exactly why I need to add the percentage sign also to actually display the percentage sign all right and uh, in the next line I'm gonna use an if condition so if this then that now what is this and what is that let's see that if mm, percent is equal to is equal to 100 okay so basically when uh, the complete timeline has been loaded all right when the uh, total bytes have been loaded uh, what do I really want to happen the first thing that I would want to happen is this I would want to remove the event list now I no longer need it so let me copy this out here and change the add to a remove okay uh, not only that I would also want it to go to the next frame because in line number three guys if you remember I'd actually stop the uh, play had going on to the next frame so next frame parent parent semicolon to take the play head to the next frame only if percentage is equal to 100 basically if the total bytes have been uh, if uh, the bytes have been completely loaded or the loading is actually complete all right so uh, that's it uh, that's that's all that I need inside the script guys uh, it's a very short simple script and uh, before I actually test this project let me also make sure that I embed the font so I'm gonna select the text field I'm gonna click the embed button okay I'll make sure the uppercase lowercase numerals and punctuation all the character ranges are selected let me say okay and let me hit control enter twice to simulate the download so control enter once and once again okay to simulate the download and guys as you can see we have a percentage sign which is not properly aligned in the center of course I'm, I'm sure guys you can actually do that okay and we have a pre animated uh, gif preloader running from left to the right and that loading text which gives you an indication that something is actually loading so when 100% uh, is actually complete uh, you'll see that um, the the audio actually starts to play all right i'm going to pause the video i'm going to resume the video when we are very close to 100 percent all right guys uh, i'm very close to 100 percent the audio is about to play the music is about to play right and indeed uh, that actually happens uh, it's just that guys i didn't align the text field properly you could have uh, you could have used the align tool and you could have done that too all right i was i'm not too particular about that uh guys uh before i actually terminate the tutorial would like to tell you this website preloaders.net is an amazing website as i said you can you could have chosen a different category maybe something like uh, uh let's say a circular uh, spinners okay then you could have chosen a different preloader any of the you know uh, there are uh, loads of choice for you guys uh, lots to choose from right okay and uh, the way you can actually customize you can choose a png file animated png or a gif you can ma make sure that the the background is actually transparent or not you can change the foreground and the background colors you can change the animation speed the size you can you can um, tell whether you want the original colors or not and as i said the, there are certain uh, advanced options to flip the image okay to use environmental colors to reverse the animation you can adjust the frame count guys you can um, all right uh, generate the preloader automatically uh, you can reset the form 
All right, and this is the magic button, the generate preloader button. All right, so guys, I hope you like this tutorial, and I hope to see you very soon with yet another Flash and ActionScript 3 tutorial, or it could be Dreamweaver. You have a good day, guys. Bye bye. Peace.